Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This will be the last video featuring this guy. Um, and yeah, this is the official review for the BB Barfly Superfly. Um, currently on the Coup de Blade. Now this thing is honestly awesome. It's really good looking. Uh, no sun out today, so I can't really show you how good it looks. But uh, yeah, no, it has really, really grown on me. It's a really good flipper. A little bit awkward. Um, but if you have, if you want something that's unique in your collection, I do recommend one. Um, there's a bit of a sound test for you. I'm sure that if I tighten up the screws all slightly, it should uh, kind of spice up a little. Um, and also just a little bit of fresh lube. Um, it's not been lubed recently uh, because it's been uh, drying, I guess I should say. Um, just those zen pins. Um, once this breaks in, this will be an absolutely mon monstrous bow song. Um, but yeah. Let's, let's get straight into it. Availability. Honestly, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8 because I've never seen these things out of stock. I've never seen them not available. And, you know, they're probably available somewhere on the secondary market as well. And so I'll give it that. When it comes to looks with this blade, honestly, I'll give it a 7. That's not my favorite looking balasong, but it's far from being bad looking. I think it's better than average. Um, I think it's one of the better balasong designs out there, especially for an original. Excuse me. And, um... Yeah, I do think it looks fantastic. When it comes to tolerances, the tolerances that I had gotten this guy on, they were pretty good. You know, it was no tap, no, well, little play at the moment. It's also at no tap with a uh, little play, although the handle gap is quite large um, in the close position. So, um, yeah, overall, tolerances are pretty good. It's pretty bouncy. Not the craziest on this blade, I should say. Um, yeah, this blade isn't the... the bouncier of the two um, that I have I did find the old blade more bouncy but it might also just need to break in because it's currently on fresh zen pins and uh, completely fresh hardware just to kind of give the ballast on a new fresh breath of life um, and yeah honestly it is uh, looking fantastic so what else do I normally review? The flipping, of course. Um, I've not flipped Balasongs in a little while, to be honest. And when it comes to this guy, it's a really nice Balasong to have. Honestly, I can't complain about it. Um, it's a very nicely balanced, obviously adjustable balance. I currently have it to a very slight blade bias slash very, very neutral. I really, really enjoy this balance. Um, I think it's probably my favorite balance without any weights in the handles. If I had to, I'd put them at the ends um, and this much longer blade. It is about serif dimensions like this and it is slightly shorter than a Kraken, I believe, on the standard blade. Um, the handles have no thickness taper here so they are quite chunky around the pivots which for me personally is a bit uh, interesting for the way i like to flip them for what feels good to me so if you have a similar preference to me you might feel a little bit thrown off in comparison to the rest of your balance collection however um i don't find it to be so disruptive that i wouldn't be able to get used to it i just would have i've just had a few ballast songs in my rotation uh, which have stopped, which has prevented me from getting too used to something like this. But if this was my main titanium flipper, I would definitely be like all over this thing, you know. Uh, I think the sound. I'll give it a seven as well, a six and a half, I think. Um, not the most amazing sound, but it's not ringy, which is a good in my books. Um, it's nice and tactile. Uh, 
and uh, honestly, yeah, I just think it's it's a good sounding vowel song. It's just a, a solid, above average sound. Nothing too special. Um, it's not the bounciest thing in the world. Although when it's dry, it gets it gets quite bouncy, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just a, a vowel song I really enjoy kind of manipulating, I should say. When it comes to how it flips as well, Chaplin's it does well. In this push setup, not crazy well, but put weights at the end. Uh, it'll chop them well. It fans fantastically. Right, you can see chokers, farm fans, does them well. Rollovers, really good. Aerials, if you throw them correctly, pretty predictable, um, especially kind of regular aerials. Um, oh no, it's like this, right? Ugh. It's freezing cold, so my hands aren't as dexterous as they might need to be. But yeah, it does scissors really well. Honestly, no complaints with the flipping. The flipping, it's going to get an eight, to be honest. It's not my favorite flipper. Um, I think it could be a little bit lighter for my... Mm, no, I think the weight distribution could just be slightly different. But honestly, I, I like it. I do connect. Oh, excuse me. I do connect with this Bella song a fair bit. Um, and I think it looks fantastic in this new colorway. So I cannot wait to get this back to the owner. Um, you know, I've had a fantastic time with it, and uh, yeah, I will definitely be doing more work like this in the future, and be dropping more bell songs on the grass, uh, which is always something fun to uh, oh, what's that? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna need to do a little bit of a cleaning of this guy before I send it back, and that's about it. Um, yeah, honestly, not too much more to talk about this thing. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, honestly. Especially when they are on sale, they are a pretty good deal. The shipping on these things, I've heard, is pretty outrageous. So if you're in the States, obviously go for it. All the ballot songs are basically super accessible for you, right? Um, but if you're in Europe, I think try get one of these things when they're on sale and so you can kind of recoup some of that shipping cost because I know that shipping from the States is exaggerated to say the least. Um, they do charge an astronomical amount. Uh, but regardless, I still think that this is a really, really solid ballast song. If you're interested in it, um, pick one up. I'm sure if you Google BB Barfly, uh, it should come up and just use the word that's in the title. Otherwise, I'm not super sure where to get them um, at the moment. But I'm pretty sure BB Barfly, I think I've been on their website also. Um, but yeah, that's this BB Barfly Superfly. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. Any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, all that good stuff. Take care, guys. And yeah. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.